YouTube creator tag. You inspire me. So my brother-in-law, he's got a, uh, a YouTube uh, channel. There he is. It's called Chris Vlog Stuff or Chris's Vlog Stuff. I don't know. He, he messaged me at work today and he said, I'm tagging you in some thing called YouTube you create or you whatever the fuck. Anyways, question number one. How long have you been doing YouTube? Uh, I will say 10 years since 2006. I haven't monetized until maybe six months ago or less. Question two, how many videos do you have on your channel? I'm gonna say 784 because it's the second time I've done this and I know the number. What was your most favorite video to record? Mm, probably the ones where I'm drunk because I care the least amount when I'm hammered and uh, they're supposed to be fun so just kind of point and click. Question four, who's your favorite YouTuber? I don't really have one. I usually watch YouTube for true crime stuff, serial killers and that kind of shit. Um, Great White Sharks, Discovery Channel kind of stuff. I'm big on um, squid and octopus and um, cuttlefish. So people who upload full programs, I mean, that's got to take a lot of time to do that. I thank you very much because I've watched pretty much all of everything. Uh, pick a YouTuber to collab with. Um, I'm going to go with Miranda Sings because she's hilarious. And what I, I would do is I would... Uh, I would do Miranda Sings with like a Shred Durst guitar solo. I think that would be fucking awesome. Um, other YouTubers would be like any genre outside of metal for me to do solos on, guitar solos. Shred guitar over dubstep. Shred guitar over funk. That's what I'd be into. I Just Zappa type fun shit. Where do you see your channel in the future? Hopefully growing exponentially in every way possible. What quote or saying do you live by? Uh, there's a quote on an album by a band called Snot, and the person asks the guy in, in like a club setting, you know, we're just releasing an album, what do you got to say about the album? And the guy goes, fuck the record and fuck the people. And um, that'll, do, that'll do for right now. Why did you start YouTube? Um, I started YouTube for a couple of reasons. One was just, I like to, uh, film stuff and post it. Like, I, I'm not taking photos and shit's cool, but if you can film things and have it documented, I thought that was pretty awesome. I kind of think of, like, YouTube as, like, uh, the new photo album. So, pivotal points in your life, uh, you film and you post, and they're there forever. And another reason was because I was watching dudes play Van Halen and fucking getting it wrong and something in my brain snapped and I was like, well, I need to fix this. So I pretty much, you know, took my favorite four albums and, and I've done the majority of them on YouTube. What challenges have you faced as a YouTuber and how did you overcome them? Ooh, I, I was doing something where I was using the YouTube editor and I realized it sucked balls, and I stopped using the YouTube editor. I'm back over to uh, Windows Movie Maker, because it's just quick and easy. So close to being done, and I botched the last question, so I have to redo it. Uh, question 10, what are your inspirations for videos? Usually, if a, if a cool person approaches me having trouble with a song, having trouble with a guitar part, more than happy to help, um, you know, because it's a giving communal type thing YouTube is and that's fine but what I don't like is if you think I'm a fucking jukebox and hey Doug play this do this ah fuck you dude I'll help the cool people I ain't helping dicks that's all all right back to the other guy hopefully this was under five minutes if not I apologize more guitar videos to come I'm gonna go back to doing what I was doing which was listening to the waitresses on YouTube Chris Butler, I will be uh, messaging you soon or emailing you soon or something, but uh, we need to have a talk about Patty Donahue. All right, peace out, bye.